This is Chaya Nene here at the closing night of IFLA 2023, where audience members have lined up to see Warren Grover not only perform stand-up, but his closing night film, All India Rank. We spoke to filmmakers and festival goers about what they're looking forward to and some of their thoughts here of the festival. Stay tuned. How does it feel? You've been through the whole festival. We chatted at the beginning about different yeah. things you were looking forward to, the process that you go through, but now you're going to do stand-up. So you're it's like two modalities coming into one for this film. What is what is going through your brain right now besides I need to get in? Okay, so yeah, uh, it's the closing night. So I'm very excited, slightly nervous because everyone has very high expectations from the closing film. Everyone wants the closing film to give them the high. The festival, uh, you know, ends on a high. Uh, so that is one role I have. So I'm already slightly nervous about that. Then I have to do stand-up comedy before the film. So I'm kind of doing the opening act for my film today uh, as a 10-minute stand-up. And uh, I'm very nervous, more nervous about that because I've never performed in a match like in front of a film audience it's not the comedy audience so I hope it works out I have my material but I don't know how it will flow so let's see you have a film out that's exciting what does it mean to have the South Asian support not only for your film but you're out here doing it for each other that sense of community is what I'm interested in yeah um, honestly we wouldn't have been able to make our movie without this community without our community without people uh, that are involved in IFLA, things like that. So, um, you know, I think uh, we're in the middle of a strike right now, and I think spaces like this is even more important in times like this, so we remember why we do this. So I'm really happy to be here and, and have the support of this community. What does it mean to you to have a space to have this film and have queer representation? We don't always get a lot of it in, I guess, South Asian media. It's changing. We're not there yet. So what does it mean to have a film like that here and having a conversation about it? I think, I mean, this film was really important for me in terms of also the timing of it, like uh, especially I through this film I particularly want to talk about like queer people and family and the desire for family and um, I feel like what's going on in India at the moment with, uh, you know, marriage rights, um, I think that is what inspired and it's like as an artist a little bit of a contribution if it helps in any way to move that conversation forward. And also I think we're all we're all fearing for our rights in this country as well, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a great response. I was, uh, uh, I, I didn't imagine that it would, people would be entertained as, you know, and so like, um, uh, I got, I, yeah, I mean, I was a little overwhelmed uh, by the whole thing. You know, we chatted about the AS, like the sign language community, and you talked about how there are people in the film that were also part of that community. And I would love for you to, to share a little bit more about that. I found that very fascinating. Uh, so, you know, one uh, went through the dilemma of uh, when we were starting the film that should we cast deaf mute actors who could, uh, you know, in the leads? Of course, there aren't many, and uh, and then the challenge comes upon me that even if I cast them. How would I surpass the the handicap of instructing them? You know my own handicap of instructing them, because uh, when we shot the football match sequence, I was very adamant that we would use only deaf mute players and the deaf mute coaches because their body language would be very different from regular players, and so they had to be both like to be able to pass on messages to each other in sign language and play football. So I, and the directing that sequence for me was the most difficult because my voice could not reach them, my instructions could not reach them. And uh, you know, when you're shooting a scene, you're always running against the time, but to have another filter of a sign language interpreter tell them was a, a reckoning for me to know, you know, what a bigger challenge it would have been if the, both the lead actors were also uh, from the community. What's one thing about either one of you that you wish you were asked, but you don't get asked that often? Huh. That's a hard question. Um, huh. Does anything come to mind for you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I always like to tell people about, about this film that our lead, who plays clarinet throughout the film, does not play clarinet and has never acted before. And that's a fun thing to share. Question that you wish people would ask you, that you don't get asked very often. What's the answer? <laughs> oh, man. That's a tough one, girl. Um, I wish people would ask a little bit more about the craft of filmmaking 
Um, I think IFLA is such a wonderful spotlight for the South Asian filmmakers and the filmmaker diaspora. I think what gets lost a lot of times in these conversations is what it means to actually be a filmmaker. Um, besides this, you know, the wonderful fact of our culture, there's a lot of craft that goes and a lot of hard work from the cast and crew that go into these films. And so I hope that we have those conversations as well. Well, folks, you heard it from people themselves, what they were looking forward to. We got to have interesting conversations. It's been a great week here at IFLA 2023. I'm so excited for what next year holds. This is Chaya Nene for American Bazaar, signing out.